currently standing outside the new redesigned Sport Trek Touring lineup. This is the 343 VIK floor plan, one of our top two sellers. Uh, you'll notice we have changed the color scheme on the outside. We've now got a two-tone white and uh, graphite color painted front cap with the window. Of course, you still are going to have down below here your power tongue jack and your two 30-pound tanks, battery disconnect. Uh, but the exterior color itself has changed. Um, all white sidewalls still have the frameless windows. Um, Pass-through baggage door with a motion light. All that's still standard. Slam latch baggage door. We do have some new marker lights here. New design of those. Um, you still have two power awnings on this one. This one is regular carefree awning. This is a wind sensor legless awning over the outside kitchen there. Still have your flip up steps, easy to operate. You just click in. Still have your Close your door. It's, on your, it's called a screen shot. So it's going to be just like your uh, storm door at your house. If your hands are full and you hit this, it will automatically close. Walking over this way, you got your legless awning here that has a wind sensor. The reason why we use the legless awning is because it's a head knocker here. Uh, if you put legs here, somebody's going to hit their head on it. That brings us down here to the outside kitchen. If you looked at the Sport Trek Touring before, you will notice on the outside kitchen, as we, then we go into the inside, the wood color has changed. Um, all your handles have changed, but you still have everything of, of your outside kitchen that you had before. You still got your sink, you got your refrigerator, you got your host connection down below for a quick, con quick connect for LP. Um, it's got lights. As we go around to the back of the trailer here, there's a couple changes that we've made. Small, minor changes, but all good changes. Uh, you've got new tail lights that have reverse lights integrated in them. The biggest thing that you'll notice back here is we have changed and went from the cargo rack that was on our back bumper before to a receiver to where if they want to put uh, a bike rack or a carrying rack or anything like that, it's a two inch receiver, so it's a standard size, it's 250 pound weight limit. And then we integrated the bumper in a little bit. And then that also allowed us to switch to a regular ladder instead of a flip down ladder. Frame, frame wise, your frame is still a BAL, Huff bolt frame, strongest in the industry, lightest in the industry. It allows us to also not only have heated and closed underbelly, but it also allows for your gate valves to be heated and closed inside the frame. 